so I'm having trouble. Having trouble on this trip. I'm not connecting the way that I usually do. I've usually got spirits coming to me, being drawn to me, but this time it's not happening. There either aren't spirits, I'm not drawing them, or I'm not listening, or I'm not able to perceive them very well. And I mean, I am to a point. It's so weird, I'm missing a sense. I need to figure it out, but yeah, something's up. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been clear enough to see if I still have the bubble or not. I'm hearing somebody actually say you do. That's for my own good. Don't try to take it off. But I'm not sure if it's because there is a threat um, against me or a threat against all light workers. And that kind of thing does happen every once in a while. Every once in a while, there's like a wave of something that comes through. If you're a psychic or medium, you're going to start getting messages that are like, okay, everybody lay low, stay below the radar, um, try not to be noticed. I think it's a certain kind of light worker or psychic or medium, uh, somebody operating on a certain frequency. And maybe that's, maybe that's starting to happen. Maybe that's part of this whole idea of there's something else coming. There's something else to be concerned of, concerned about. The last time, the most obvious one was um, when COVID kicked off. I was getting a lot of messages that were about um, taking care of yourself, survival, don't worry about not being able to progress and stuff like that. And this time, uh, there was a sense of urgency to get back on the road. And I feel like it's a window that is coming up where it's gonna close again. And I think, you know, part of it is they aren't gonna tell me. And that's why I'm closed up. Otherwise, yeah, just open him up and let him, let him see. And I keep looking at the carpet and it looks like a padlock. We've got stimulus all around us and there'll be things that we're drawn to over and over again. And it may be finding pennies or something like that. And you know, maybe they've, maybe the pennies have apported into this place. Maybe they've just dropped out of the sky and bam, there's a penny and it represents, you know, Uncle Fred to you. Or, your attention is drawn to something over and over again. And this is like when doing readings, everything becomes part of the reading. So, you know, if I'm trying to pay attention and see what's going on, it's like I keep seeing padlocks on the carpet. It's padlocks. And, you know, what is that message right now? It's like, yeah, you're locked up. Got lock, locked up security <laughs> padlock. I've been to plenty of places where it just seems like there would be some sort of energy, psychic memory, or spirit, and I'm not picking it up. I'm touching on the top of my head. And it's scary, it's really uncomfortable, and... It's like, oh, am I done? Like, did I do something wrong? This is all terrifying stuff, and I'm sure everybody <laughs> has this like with whatever it is you're good at, whatever it is you're, you know, that, that's your thing. Like if you're having a few down days or something, um, you start to question like, do I even know what I'm doing? Like, why am I even here? Maybe I had some experiences today that where I connected and everything, but it's so easily forgotten when I'm feeling down or I'm feeling like I'm not getting anything. And I know I just said somebody touched me on the top of my head. I think somebody touched me earlier. And it's that walking through a spider web kind of feeling. Like, did, did something just fall on me? So, yeah. My telepathy game is weak right now. Okay, I'm like kind of trying to use like a mental like radar with the room and like sense where there are folks. 
And there are folks in the room. I'm getting that there are like, there are folks taking up energetic space in the room. Like uh, three to eight and they're around. Some of them are kind of like, we just have to let him struggle. Some of them feel for me. Some of them are like, they want, they want to be helping me. They want me to be able to do stuff. And I'm trying to tune in. I'm trying to do some work. Somebody has their hand on my shoulder and they're kind of saying, no, no. So, and there's a little twinge on my finger. I'm surprised they can get through to get a twinge on my fingers. They're so dry and cracked. Gloves, wind, air conditioning at night, eating crap food. Like I looked at some footage, I mean, just to make sure I had footage and I'm not pleased with how I look these days. Like I was doing really well for a long time, so ready to get back. Got the body by stress eating. But yeah, I'm not going to be communicating because I'm getting, getting not to. Sorry everybody that's um, interested in communicating. I don't know, maybe you guys can get something from this with like your struggle with your psychic work, having blocks, having uh, boundaries put up, <laughs> having those times when you just aren't getting information or times when you keep being drawn to, you know, this symbol over and over and over again. And it's like, oh yeah, okay, I get it. It's like reading tea leaves or, um, scrying or something, you're seeing these images and the other side will direct your attention to the carpet or they keep directing my attention to look at my dash on my bike and I'll see every number on there is one, ten consecutive ones or something like that. I'm being directed to look at it at precisely that moment. Anyway, yeah, thanks. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Um, anybody around, if you need help, please talk to my guides. And thank you.